Hi, I'm Sophia Check. And I'm Matt Schaefer. This is a Penn State Today Quick Cast. Penn State Athletics will unveil its long-awaited facilities master plan to the public on March 13th. The plan is expected to include renovations to Beaver Stadium and other sports venues on campus and address needs for the next 20 years. The study will be released on the morning of March 13th, with a public presentation set later for that day in the Hintz Alumni Center. The number of possible mums cases keeps rising at University Park. University Health Services has investigated 27 suspected, probable, or confirmed mumps cases on campus. Six have been confirmed by labs tests. Mumps is a contagious disease spread by saliva, mucus, and coughing. Penn State says it's reaffirming its commitment to transgender rights after federal policy changes on restrooms. The university already announced it's expanding the number of all-gender restrooms. President Eric Barron says Penn State will continue to promote and protect gender equality. The comments come after the federal government ended protections for transgender students that allowed them to use public school bathrooms based on their chosen identity. The ballot is set for Penn State's trustee election coming up next month. Five names are on the ballot, but there's one you won't see. Sue Paterno said she would not run if nominated. However, her son, Jay Paterno, will appear on this year's ballot. He's among five people vying for three spots chosen by alumni. Ballots will be available from April 10th to May 4th. This week is spring break at Penn State. While some are hitting the beach, many are continuing their education out of the classroom in foreign countries. Students are traveling through embedded programs this spring to 20 countries, including Panama, South Africa, Hungary, and Serbia. Some of these programs are through the College of Communications, whose dean praised the opportunities they provide. These opportunities for international travel are so exciting because they give students the chance to get outside of their comfort zones and leave the U.S. and for many students that would be a first, but it lets them do it in a way that is much more affordable, allows them to have their semesters here at University Park or at a Penn State campus, but also get a really exciting international travel opportunity. The students in Panama will produce a special Center County Report TV news program when they get back. That's all for this Penn State Today Quick Cast. For more, go to our website, commedia.psu.edu, to see student-produced news from the College of Communications. Have a great day.